welcome back. In this video, we're gonna create a percent to progress chart. So we're gonna look at how the current year is doing relative to the prior year. Let's jump in and take a look at this chart. I'm connected to Tableau Superstore 2020.4 using that same exact version. What we see is a percent accumulation bar chart of the current year relative to the prior year and the progress towards it. Meaning, what do the sales look like last year is this black indicator. And by the end of the year, it will fill up this entire bar. And this blue bar or red bar, depending on where it is, is the current year progresses. So we can see all these blue bars are ahead of target relative to last year. And these red bars are behind. That means that our data that we're working with is actually not the end of the year. Isn't the full Superstore data set. What we have on this example is to simulate this situation is a data source filter. If you're working with your data in real life, you don't need this. But in order to truncate our data, I have put on this filter, which won't bring it into our analysis, filtering it to May 17th, 2020. So we've got 2020 data going through May 17th and everything else exists for the previous three years. So we have three in roughly a half years of data. So how do we create this bar chart? I am just going to go and create a new sheet and let's recreate it. Let's find a subcategory and we're gonna do analysis. If you're gonna follow along, you're gonna to wanna to add that data source filter. So if you're gonna do it, you're gonna right click, edit your data source filter and then select and add a filter on order date and then just set the max value to be 517 2020 if you're looking to replicate this identically. But from here, we're just gonna double click on columns here and we're just gonna type min 1.0. This is gonna be the background bar. It's gonna be a gray bar. So I'm just gonna change that color right away. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna cheat in doing some formatting. I'm going to right click and copy my formatting from the progress bar and paste that in here and uh, my color changed, but I got rid of the axis lines, the grid lines, all the lines that I don't like on my view, I just removed right away. I'm, I don't need this header, but I'm not gonna hide it quite yet. We're gonna start by building a few calculations. Our first calculation is sales for 2019, and I'll just call this sales bar 2019, and we'll do a sum, and then an if statement, and say if year of order date is equal to 2019 then sales end. so here's our sales for 2019 i'm hitting okay i already have this calculation so i'll just add a space after it i'm hitting okay i'm going to go do the same thing now for 2020 call it sales 2020 a sum if the year of order date is equal to 2020 then sales end that's our second sales calculation that we have here. And I'll just put a space after it since I already have this one existing. So there we have the second calculation. Nice, straightforward, simple. We'll hit OK. From here, we want to build a calculation that's going to show the percent of progress for the current year. So if you're thinking it's May 17th, it's actually a certain number of days that have passed through the year. We want to be able to compare that same value from the previous years. And the way we'll do that is just calling this calculation year to date and we'll go TF representing it's going to be a Boolean. It's a way that I use it to search for things. But we'll just say for this calculation date part and we'll say year of date comma order date. So what this will do is calculate. Sorry, it's day of year. So what this will do is calculate the day of year for any given day in our order date. We want to compare that to our maximum date. So we're just going to say less than or equal to date part, day of year, fixed on max order date. That's all we're going to do here. And I'll hit OK. And now we have this calculation right here that we've built. This is going to go into a couple of our calculations that we're going to create. So for our 2019 comparison, we always want to compare it again. We're on the May 17th in this example of 2020. We want to compare 2019 and where it's going to be at for 2020. So we'll just call this the previous year, PY, percent to progress, PTP. 
and then I'm just gonna say sum if the year to date TF so this is gonna return again if it's that equal distance and year of order date so selecting the right year 2019 then sales so this will give me every all my sales up to the current day of the year relative to the current year for last year and we'll just divide that by sales 2019 and that's it uh, we'll hit OK now we can just take this calculation add it to detail if we right click on the axis and we add a reference line we can change our reference line to this PTP let's do it per cell let's get rid of the labels let's get rid of the tooltip and I'm using the largest line here I'm gonna uncheck show recalculated line I just don't ever like using it I'll hit OK here and now we'll see this is where last year was relative to the same date on basically May 17th so across this bar so all these bars by the end of the year will be filled up with the marks all the way at the end how do we bring in the current year we're gonna create another calculation to do the current year so just call it CY PTP so percent to progress if sales 2020 is less than sales 2019 then let's say it is sales 2020 divided by sales 2019 and the reason we're doing this is because if you think about 2019 the last year we know it's always going to max out at the end because it can't go above it but 2020 could go beyond it so we're going to say if somehow 2020 is beyond it or currently right now it's less than but if it's otherwise if it's equal to what are we going to do so if it's less than it we're just going to you know do the division as we'd expect it else we're going to say one and because it's going to be all the way at the end of the bars here then we can just hit okay here and now we can just take the cy ptp drag it on the columns to the right and we have our bars let's just change this color temporarily to this blue and we can right click on the axis go dual axis Let's synchronize this up right away and then click on our marks and change those to bar. We've got this measure names, Tableau likes bringing that in. We can just click and remove that off our view. Now we're basically there. We have one last calculation to add to our view and I like doing it as an ad hoc calculation. It's good practice. Click on the CY PTP mark and then that'll activate our marks card for it. We're just gonna double click and we're gonna type CY PTP is greater than or equal to PY PTP. So the current year, is it greater than or equal to the previous year? And hit enter, and then place that out on color. And we'll wanna adjust our color here. So our true values are gonna be if we're on target, and our false values is if we are off target. And if we're at the end of the year and we've hit our target exactly at the number, it will still be blue. We'll treat it as true because our calculation on our top bar doesn't allow us to go past one. But if we just right click and uncheck show headers, we have our percent to progress bar chart. That one is a fun one. I use it all the time, lots of uses. If this is one you think is pretty good, let me know in the comments. Tell me how you plan on using it for your analyses. Very curious to hear about how you're going to do it. Otherwise, we appreciate you watching this video. And if you've learned anything in this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're enjoying this series and learning from this series, be sure to hit subscribe. Anytime you do, you're going to get updates in your inbox as the new videos come out. You don't have to come over to the website, see if anything's come up. You can actually just learn right from your inbox rather than exploring. Anyway, this is Luke. Appreciate you tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.